Sharon Hills, Pennsylvania, Smokin' Burt Cooper. And in the blue corner, weighing in at 230 pounds, he was a silver medalist in the 1988 Olympics. He is undefeated with a record of 19 and 0, 17 by KO. Fighting out of Brooklyn, New York, Riddick Lamont Boo. <laughs> Okay, I spoke to both fighters in the dressing room. I'm cautioning again, obey my commands at all times. Any questions? Shake hands and good luck. Wait a the thing to watch out for, Riddick Bowe has 17 knockouts in his 19 pro wins. Seven of those knockouts have come in the first round, but once again, he is about 10 pounds heavier, Ferdy. He certainly doesn't look it. He, he still looks tall. I mean, he's a very tall man. He can certainly carry that 230. Now, what we got here is a very heavy bunching Burt Cooper, who, if you stand in front of him, will give you a terrific bout. If you box him, he doesn't know what to quite do with, but with you. You see the disparity in size. And you see Cooper taking the fight right to Bo. The superior boxer to use his size and get away with him. Sometimes Bo just fudge had a hip operation, which fortunately turned out very well. He is at ringside, but not in the corner. He is not able to go up and down ring stairs yet. And, of course, that's what resulted in Riddick Bo adding 10 pounds. With his trainer in the hospital, he just did what he wanted to. You see Cooper trying to swarm. as a warrior. If you stand in front of him, he will fight you all night long. You have to box, you have to give him angles. And uh, right now, Riddick Bo is doing nothing but catching. You know, we mentioned that Bo has seven first-round knockouts. Cooper's 19 knockouts. Eight of them have been first-round knockouts. So both of these guys like to get it done in a hurry. Well, Riddick better get on track somewhere along the line here because he hasn't done anything as yet. Now Bo trying to back away a little bit. Uh, Riddick is not using his superior height nor motion. He's not using his legs. He, I mean, here he is, this huge guy. All he has right inside, just within range of the little short arms of Cooper. Now, Cooper can be dangerous to be that close. Cooper with a lot of personal props. And you see him just trying to get inside. And Riddick Bo, one of the keys for him is his jab, and we don't see it here. He has no sense, and, and uh, there is no distance. There's no daylight between these two guys. So far, Cooper has done exactly what he wanted to do, and I'm, I would imagine that Bo is in for tongue lashing when he gets back to his corner because he has not fought the way he's supposed to. And although Cooper will get hit with some shots in there, when he's that close, there's no leverage from Bo. Bo is, as you can see, a very tall and long arm guy. He needs some distance to punch, and he's not room to jab. Now, right there, jab. Let that jab come in there hard. Cooper has taken the fight to Bo as we hit the end of round number one, and he scores with an uppercut inside. And uh, keep him off at the end of your jab. Now, you see, now let's see how long he tries to keep that distance. There he is. That's the jab, and that's the distance he needs. This is what Eddie Fletch wants. Move away when he moves in. Make him pay for it when he comes in. And right now, early on, we're seeing that Cooper is coming up short because he can't get inside. He had his way in round one. He just walked right in. You just kind of, you've got to almost slap him in the legs and get him awake, really, about a bow and get him focused. I mean, if he's, when he's focused, he's an excellent fighter and he has, he's a great prospect. Uh, but it's just difficult to get him to think every round and carry out the game plan. Right now, he's doing exactly what he should be doing and what Eddie Futch wants him to do. This is Bo's seventh fight of 1990, 6-0 with five knockouts. Cooper is 1-1 one one with one knockout here in 1990. Cooper last lost to Wayne Mercer back in August. Lost a 12-round decision. And outside of the Tyson fight with Douglas, that might have been the finest heavyweight fight in uh, the last year or two. They just went at it. But that's because Mercer's not a boxer. He's a boxer to be uh, uh, showing his technique right there. That's the kind of thing that Bo has to do. Good uppercut by Bo. Well, the action heating up now as Bo is landing some blows with heavy intention. That uppercut is exactly what Futch said. Once you get used to the jab, go with the uppercut. Come to get out. Nice right hand. 
by Riddick Bowe. Steele separating the fighters. A much better round number two for Riddick Bowe. It's inside, he can do a little damage. Oh, good right hand by Paul. And Cooper is down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You okay? Cooper make it to the end of round two. Yeah, he's going to beat them. Cannot be saved by the bell. And that is it. Steele's top to knee is definitely out. He just came with it once. After what we saw in round one, we see it here in round two. Now watch how, how well he lands that right hand. Now when a, a big man like that lands a right hand of that uh, nature and then follows it up with another, but the first one is already enough right there. Uh, you see how well he positions himself to throw the right hand? The classical fighter, he, he has the makings of a great fighter. If they can get him to concentrate, if he listens to Eddie Fudge, if he comes along, he can be a powerhouse in boxing can Riddick Bo. Let's look at it from a different angle. You see how it's just perfectly thrown and perfectly connected. Now the second one just icing on the cake. So Riddick Bo with a sec second of beating, of beating that belt. One second more and that would have been all. That's a huge guy who is uh, six foot four and a 230 pounds. When he lands a right hand, believe me, that's electricity. That's power in, in the hands. Of course, I always felt Cooper was just too little against big heavyweights you can't match. Reddick Bowe with a second round knockout as he puts down Burt Cooper for the second time at the end of the round. And Cooper could not get back up. Is that a preview of what we'll see later on? The moment of truth? The bigger man against the smaller man? You have a different quality opponent than Burt Cooper in uh, uh, Evander Holyfield who is not a small man. No matter what anybody says, he is going to be 210 today. He's six foot one. He isn't. This little guy is a little guy. And uh, it's a completely different uh, kind of uh, fight. It's apples and oranges. We're not going to see the same thing. Riddick Bowe with his 16th knockout in the first three rounds. He now has 18 career knockouts. He is 20 and 0. And really, he followed his corner's advice. So Riddick Bowe comes up. At three minutes and nine seconds of the second round, and winner by TKO, Riddick Lamont Bowe.